Did I, uh... Yeah. Okay, that should be fine. Audio, let's turn you back up a bit. So that's tomorrow. Okay. An event. New wish. New banner. Test run. Cool. Whoa. Mail? Oh yeah, that. Can't be bothered. Right. I've only got about an hour and 20 minutes, unfortunately, because I've had a busy day and I made some commitments for later on, too. So, what's the easiest way there? Complete the time challenge. How many gems and how much? Oops, and how long do I have left on this banner? Oh, no, that one. Uh, 13 hours. So it ends. Not well, nearly 14 hours. So it ends like in, when I'm asleep. So today's probably my last chance to uh, get more Chong Yuns going. I've only got about 10 rolls to use. Oh, is that it? I thought it was more than one part of that. Sweet. As you wish, oh, shit, boy, it's, it's fine, it doesn't take long to get her cue back anyway. If you'd love to your charge, there you go.
I think I normally come over here for weeklies for the battle pass. Yeah. Where all that jade is. Something something jade. as well grab it. I don't think I've ever had this one before. This is weird. I guess I want the one on the yellow. The one on the red and white looks like it's got some kind of crack in it, I guess. the thing. Resin, and I think today's a day to get the talent books for you. Monday. But yours are freedom. But yours are prosperity. So they're different ones. Okay. So I can't do both. 
I have to get Cleaves to four at least. I can't not have them four. Pretty sure the amount of greens and blues is the same either way, so I don't care, I'll just do an easy one. Don't disappoint me. two books from here anyway. Oh, hey, people, Senpai, what's up? It's not. Ah, oh, thank you for the host, sir. I've been playing this game for a long time, my man. So, how are you? How's your day been? Race you. It's prosperity, wasn't it? Oh god, I always forget. It's either prosperity or the other one. Freedom. Alright. What happened to the last game? Uh, Immortals. I finished it. Uh, there's, only, there's only side stuff left to do on it now. I was thinking of going back and doing that for a stream, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can make the one I'm missing. Oh, sweet. Pretty dandy. Slept all day. Nice. I was going to do that today, but I had so much stuff I had to do. I thought, if I just get it all done today, then I don't have to do anything else before Christmas. I can just be a lazy piece of shit. So that was today's goal. Yeah, I finished Immortals. <laughs> Well, at least I finished the story. I haven't 100 percent it. Like, I might go back and do that. I also really wanted to stream um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla because it runs so freaking well on my PC. Like, I'm running it on ultra settings and a pretty much constant 60 frames per second for my setup is amazing. Um, but for some reason, as soon as I start up OBS, it drops to it. Uh, well, my GPU usage goes from 10% to about 100%, and it starts dropping frames all over the place. So we need to figure out why that's doing that. Because otherwise, it looks great for me, but it looks terrible on stream. There's nothing better to uh, do. Ningwon, we could go for sort you out next, I think. <laughs> If 
finally had a day off. Nice. Everyone likes a day off. I'm pretty sure everyone does. Ubisoft Project C CF Red. Oh, yeah. I hear it's not been good for them lately. Level 88, you're taking the piss. Uh, no Hydro or Cryo, that's fine, we can fix that. I think I've done this one before, so... My demon expelling mantra is ready! We can do oh, this! Oh wait, don't really need fire, so let's put Ning one back in. Don't disappoint me. Yeah, to be fair, Ubisoft have been, actually been doing a good job of optimizing their PC games for a change. Mostly. Watch Dogs still need some work, but Immortals and Ubis and uh, Assassin's Creed, both 10 out of 10 jobs there. Boat? Why? You want to go sailing? Or motorboating? Watching the big hunt in Prime. Not familiar with that one. I don't really watch a lot of Prime stuff because I, well, don't have Prime. Top Gear Boys. Oh, they've got another show. No, that's not looking good. So, I'm going to need, if I need, how many purples was it? Five. Five purples means I need 25 blues. That's going to be quite a few. I think I got that right. No, no. One purple equals five blues, so three times five is fifteen. Oh, that's more reasonable. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get enough today alone, but we'll get as close as we can. Uh, we'll stick. Wait, did we do it on that one? Oh, we did, yeah. Foreign country on boats. You don't say. Oops.
Why do I keep blowing up? Speedboat, May got a steam esque boat, Clarkson got a military boat, May bought an antique boat. So May got two boats. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Um, this is the first stream I've done in four days, and apparently two hours ago I got two new followers Nikki Parker and Aaron Shade90. Thank you very much for following. Not 100% certain what brought you over my way. Perhaps one of my friends gave me a shout out. So if they did, thanks. So what do they do with all these boats then? I do like playing as Ningmon. Not sure yet, Clarkson boat costs a hundred thousand quid, a hundred thousand pounds. Kinda doubt it. Lake Solo, the boats are struggling. Oh no! <laughs> Which lake? How many more of these can I do? Well, I'll see where we're at after this one.
Reduce the lake by 40%. Oh dear. That's a lot. Be right back. Okay. Three, which brings us to 11 and I've got three more runs I might be able to do it Five viewers. Hi guys. How's it going? get away with just one more. Let 
I think we're good. Uh, it's 12, I can make another. Yeah, okay, so. I should use up all my resin, so I guess I'll get some more for. Uh... Oh, you to ascend. Have I not got you ready to ascend yet? I guess not. I don't have enough uh, resin to do a boss right now. What should I do instead? I think you're on a different day. You're Wednesday, aren't you? Monday. Oh, today. Oh, okay. Let's get at least some for you then. Oh, this is where I was earlier. Of course, three of my characters all share the same days for getting resources. Just sharpen my spear! Ready for anything. Where's she gone? Oh, there she is. Don't disappoint me. Probably not a huge deal, but I want to see at least. Time for some training? 
Right, only one thing left to do. This. I have to get on that ship. Let's see if I can remember where the dude is that gets me across. I didn't think I would see you here. Are these two your friends? Yes. We had the fortune of meeting not too long ago. The Traveler, we were just discussing the history of Rex Lapis. Would you like to listen? Uh, this good sir seems not to appreciate the almighty power of the Lord of Geo. As a professional archaeologist, I'm inclined to correct some of his erroneous views. We are discussing the whereabouts of the first Mora. As everyone knows, the Lord of Geo taught the ancient people of Liyue the craft of smelting, creating goods that allowed them to develop trade with the early nations of that time. Today, Liyue holds the sole right to cast Mora in the entire continent of Tivat. The world's very first Mora should have been cast by the hands of the Lord of Geo himself thousands of years ago. According to my research, as well as my own hypothesis, I believe that this coin of unique historical significance has been passed down secretly through the years as a kind of token. For example, perhaps the Qixing who control the Liyue use it in some kind of unknown ceremony they hold when they come to power. No, no, no. My research indicates that the first Mora coin is not such a simple thing. Mora is a catalyst. This we all know. Even today, Mora is used in the mystic arts for its curious properties of weapon enhancement. The world's first Mora would no doubt possess the strongest power. My next historical treatise will boldly expound on the newest findings from my intense decade-long research. That is, that the Lord of Geo used this original Mora as a catalyst to enhance a dagger and a sword. Well, buy the book when it comes out to read the full story. <laughs> For now, I will only reveal this. The one who finds the dagger shall become supreme in Liyue, and the one who finds the sword may be crowned Liyue's sovereign. I can't say I agree. <clears throat> Let us not speak of the authenticity of the dagger and sword first. But Mora and money came about simply because they are a convenient measure of a contract's value. Rex Lapis just meant for Mora to serve as a catalyst for people to exchange and trade. The world's first Mora is probably just an ordinary coin created by Rex Lapis. As for its fate, the same as all Mora, I suspect. It was simply spent somewhere. Hmm. I think that Mr. Hanshua's hypothesis seems reasonable. Mr. Zhongli's argument, on the other hand, lacks any evidence. How can you so easily dismiss the Lord of Geo's profound foresight? No, no, I am not debating right or wrong. I am simply stating a fact. Enough! Do you think you understand the Lord of Geo more than me? I know but little about history, and I wouldn't dare to brag. But discussion is meaningless if everyone has the same opinion, no? Well then, answer me this. Long ago, when Liyue Harbor was being constructed, the Lord of Geo taught the people how to build houses. 
The model home he used to teach them was completely cast from Mora, correct? That is correct, indeed. Okay, then tell me. Why would the Lord of Geo do something so extravagant if not because of the mystical power that Mora contains? There's a simple explanation, really. To the god of wealth and commerce, what material is easier to get than Mora? Uh, oh. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I am talking about Rex Lapis. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have some questions about archaeology. Can we find somewhere quiet to chat? I oh, it's no problem at all. But may my friend accompany us? Perhaps they could be of some help. Of course. They can come if that's what pleases you, sir. Let's go. Why wasn't Paimon's voice lines working during that cutscene? What I'm about to say is a bit disrespectful of the Lord of Geo and would draw a lot of angry looks. So it's best to discuss this somewhere quiet. Your argument just now exhibited acuteness of speech and thought. Most importantly, you don't fall for the boasting and acting of the others. You remain objective. So I have a question for you. Perhaps you will answer differently from other scholars. Do you think that all the gods that the Geo Archon killed were evil? Let's not analyze it in terms of good versus evil. Rex Lapis placed great importance on the integrity of contracts. So any gods he killed certainly must have broken some kind of contract. But when I was doing some research, I learned about the legend of the God of Salt. The God of Salt, Havria, was a very kind god. But she encountered Morax one day in battle. Morax used a rather underhanded trick to assassinate her. This... this bit of history is a long story. But you may not like the truth when you hear it. Don't worry, please tell me what you know. This event... I've already searched for answers for a long time. No, it's just... <sighs> Where should I begin? Over here! Mr. Zhang Li! I've been looking for you! <laughs> ah, so you're over here all this time. First of all, I'm not holding a weapon. Ach. There's no need to overreact now. I'm simply an archaeological researcher from Snezhnaya. I'm not here for trouble. But this time, I registered with the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. I could show you the official documentation if you want to see it. I will be conducting an archaeological survey here, the results of which will all be shared with the Ministry. I heard that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor had a consultant named Zhang Li, with immense knowledge of ancient history and archaeology. So I paid Wangsheng Funeral Parlor a handsome amount to hire Zhang Li as my own consultant while I'm in town. So you mean to say that this is work for the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? It, well, since it's work, I don't have a choice. A consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor must respect their duty. Of course you would be such a reasonable man. Well then, let's head out now, shall we? Wait, if you are studying archaeology, can I go too? I am also a scholar in this field, so I can help. That will give us a chance to continue the topic we were just discussing. Oh, and you should tag along too. This experience may be of help to you on your future adventures. It is a story from before the Rise of the Seven. Although the God of Salt has already perished, it will still be a meaningful experience for your journey. This is... wait. This is an archaeological expedition, not a tour group. That's too many people. But this friend of mine has a treasure-finding talent, surpassed by no one. It will surely be of great help to us. Oh? What talent? If my friend espies a treasure chest, they will absolutely find a way to open it. Well, that is quite enticing. All right, then. Well, let's go. There's no time to waste. When the Overlord of the Vortex was crushed by the Jade Chamber recently, perhaps something of interest was washed ashore. An ancient artifact would be good. Traces of ancient activity would be great. But a piece of the God's limb would be even better. 
Who knows what surprises we may find? Okay then, what do we do? Go to the stone forest. Okay. place looks so ordinary. Can we really find anything valuable here? She's still not actually talking. I don't mean the scenery, but rather that there should be something out of the ordinary. A big battle did just occur and all, and I don't even know where to begin looking here. Guyan Stone Forest is actually the perfect place to be, if you wish to learn about the gods or the history of the Archon War. Legend has it that Rex Lapis threw spears made of large rock into the sea here, piercing and crushing the overlord of the Vortex. After many years of wind erosion, those stone spears have turned into the unique rock formations we see now. What we see now is just the part of them that remains. The stone spears hurled by Rex Lapis all those years ago were much greater both in number and in size, but due to the different angles they landed at, their large centers of mass, erosion by seawater and years of gravity, many of them have been completely swallowed by the sea. So besides wind erosion, the initial collapsing of the stone spears also played a big part in the formation of Guyan Stone Forest. Well, a god able to fight one so powerful as Rex Lapis was certainly very strong in its own right. Indeed. This is where the value lies in research at Guyan Stone Forest. Most of the objects from that time were lost to the sea. But the gigantic waves created by the Overlord of the Vortex have given those sunken objects a chance to see the light of day again. So you're saying that if we look carefully, we'll be able to get very, very rich at... Uh, I mean... Rich with archaeological knowledge and historical value, yes? <laughs> That's all I seek in life. <laughs> well, since we brought so many people, I think it would be best to split up and look. Okay then. I will go with my friend here. Although I have a smattering of knowledge in various disciplines, when it comes to archaeology, I can't compete with the expert here. Huh? M me What's the matter? This is your profession. Why are you so surprised? I get it. I'll escort him then. Okay. If we find anything valuable or rare, let's meet on the shore opposite from here. Just the ancient away. god probably left behind lots of elemental marks. Following them should make our search much easier. Guyan Stone Forest is a place where a god was defeated, and its remnants still affect the area to this day. Okay. <laughs> 
See that object in the center. Perhaps it emits the remnant strength of the god. That would certainly affect me. The hydromimic monsters. I have a contract and must put my personal feelings aside. Go ahead. Defeat them and recover the relic. Stone slab, but its design is quite unique. This should be enough to garner some information. Let's head back. You call yourself a scholar of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that. What are you good for? We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried very hard to explain. This girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know anything about the surrounding ruins. I even know more than her. She left me to rely solely on guessing, I mean experience, to find anything valuable to take back. Ugh, what a waste of time. Uh... I've just been researching the God of Salt, so I'm not familiar with sea relics. Is that so strange? And you! You kept asking about how much mora everything is worth. Can the value of relics only be measured in mora? I... I mean, isn't measuring their value in mora the easiest way? This also matches the traditions of Liyue, does it not? Now, now, calm down. No need to make a fuss. We were able to bring back some intriguing objects. Let's have a look. Oh, what a shame. <sighs> These objects were indeed washed ashore by the Overlord of the Vortex, but they have nothing to do with the god besides being in the vicinity at the time. The stone slab we found, however, has a mysterious pattern and faint aura of divine power. Perhaps it will be useful for research purposes. Quick, give it to me! <laughs> At least we didn't come for nothing. The power of the gods, yes! This is good. Oh, but these other objects are certainly worth a little something, right? It should be enough to cover the cost of hiring you. It's all mine. Not at all. My quest to uncover the history of the God of Salt is because history can tell us about culture and beliefs. But you? You're just trying to use archaeology to get rich! Nonsense! I'm a professional archaeology researcher from Snezhnaya. I swear, if I'm lying, may the Lord of Geo strike me down! Oh, by the way, you probably don't want to sell that teacup. Oh? 
Why is that? That's not an ancient teacup. Oh shit, hi Kevin. It's Thank part of Ming Wang's collection. It must have fallen here along with the Jade Chamber. So unless you want to mess with the Qi thing... Ah, I see. Uh, what a shame. It was of such high quality, too. <laughs> Hello, Kevin's Raiders. Welcome. See? You do want to sell these objects! But, uh, so what? Why can't I pursue wealth both intellectual and material? Don't be so simple-minded. Huh. <sighs> All right, then. No need to stay here any longer. Hmm. I'm rather quite intrigued by the God of Salt, too, actually. Let's go to Sal Terai next. Did you have a good stream today? Alright, I guess we're going here next. I'm even going to bed. That's alright. Oh, it's better than shit then. <laughs> I've only got about 20 minutes before I have to go. Uh, my dad is still ill, and so my mum has asked for help getting her shopping. Yeah. And we need to get there before 7, so half 6 is the latest I can do. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys. Bye guys. Oh, it's this place. I heard that Sal was, was that? the home of the God of Salt's people. Therefore, <laughs> there are sure to be loads of valuable relics nearby. According to legend, the people of the God of Salt, Havria, enjoyed prosperous lives under her protection. But this legend has been around for ages. With the countless scrap collectors and treasure hoarders in the area, there probably aren't many valuable things left here. That's just great. If I knew it was picked this clean before, I wouldn't have come. About that. I know there's a ruin deep in this cave here. It's related to the God of Salt, which is actually how the area originally got its name of Sal Terai. However, the ruin entrance has been sealed by a mysterious power. Nobody has been able to break the seal. I found a mechanism that seemed to be related to the seal, but when I undid the mechanism, the seal wasn't affected at all. So at the moment, the seal's origin and how to break it are very important topics in my research on the God of Salt. I don't know, there's no concrete evidence, but I'm pretty sure the seal is meant to hide some kind of long-forgotten truth. The God of Salt was a benevolent god, adored by the people, not to mention powerful. She wouldn't have any kind of shameful secrets to hide. So, the one who wants to hide some truth is very possibly her killer, Morax. Who cares about all that? It sounds like countless treasures of the God of Salt lie within this ruin, just waiting for someone to find them, right? You weren't listening at all, were you? Ugh. Even if there's a mountain of treasures inside, nobody can get in if the seal isn't broken. Ah, but we have the illustrious Mr. Zhang Li with us. He looks like he knows just about everything. A little seal shouldn't be any trouble for him. This seal seems to be quite ancient. Even Mr. Zhang Li may not know all of its secrets. I may know something about it. Wh what Over the years, I've heard various rumors with bits of knowledge about seals. Although their references seem rather disorderly, they do in fact contain the secret to breaking seals. Let's go take a look at the mechanism Miss Wanyan just mentioned. Okay, since Mr. Zhang Li says so, follow me then. I'm eating now, no pressure, but you better entertain me while I eat. I'm hoping to get into some action soon. So far, most of this quest has just been chatting. It's kind of boring. Go to the first contraption. I'll kill this dude. He's just going to get in my way otherwise. Thing. 
No, over here. Here it is. There's some debris scattered here that, when put together, look like they definitely had to do with the goddess salt. Oh, there you go. According to the inscription on the side, if one looks from a certain angle, the secret to the mechanism will be revealed. <sighs> See that? Although we activated the mechanism, nothing happened to the seal. That's because there's the actually that another that mechanism that must be activated. Uh, another? Let me lead the way from here. This place seems familiar. Huh, I remember. I think there's some elemental monuments here. So you're saying they're related to all this? When I investigated the seal last time, I had someone with a vision accompany me. But when we lit up all the elemental monuments, nothing happened. That's because you don't just need to activate them at the same time, but in a certain order as well. Otherwise, the seal will not be broken. The secret to this puzzle is hidden in the legends about the Archon War. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. All desolate and devoid of life. Liu is vast, yet even one haven is hard to find. To the north, to the east, do the people of Liyue always talk in riddles? I, I think I've heard this saying before. Certainly you have. And the contents of this saying are also related to the god of salt. Oh shit, my bad, I scared everyone off. Ah, don't worry about it. To provide a haven for her people whose lives had been ravaged by the Archon War. This benevolent god searched all across Liyue. At that time, with the chaotic fires of war engulfing the land, even, having even the, uh, one sliver of peace was a luxury. A bit. And that haven she eventually found is right here. Today, it is known as Sal Turai. How sad then. In the end, this peaceful place was destroyed by Morax. Okay, enough with these ancient stories. Now that we have the clue, hurry up and break the seal. Whatever happened doesn't matter as long as we can get inside that ruin. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. With this clue, you should be able to solve the puzzle. Oh, God. <sighs> Let's kill these guys first. Referring to these in the correct order. Uh, what order did you say? Did you write it down or anything? That'd have been helpful. Oh god, I can't remember what the order was that he was saying. I should have paid more attention. It's not going to tell me if it's right until the last one, isn't it? Tianhong in the south. Okay. Yao Guang in the east. Zhuiyun in the west. Qingzhe in the north. The directions are the clue. Give it another try. People learn the hidden truth lost to time. Hmm. 
Before entering the ruin, I have a proposal that will help us prevent the kind of senseless arguing between you two that we saw at Guyanstone Forest. Okay. What is it? I propose you two agree upon a contract, stipulating that we alternate who gets claim to each treasure we encounter, with only one object permitted per claim. To show my sincerity, I won't be taking any treasure. This will just be between you all. Why didn't I get choice there? Maybe I want some treasure. I don't agree. I mean, you want me to split the treasure with this amateur archaeologist? No, absolutely not. I don't agree either. <laughs> he will only defile the precious relics left behind by the God of Salt. I, I, I can't accept this. Well then, if the contract is not agreed upon, I will no longer serve as your consultant on this expedition. You will have to rely on your own experience to find whatever treasures are hidden in this ruin, as well as traps. You, you, you have the audacity to demand this. <sighs> okay then, even half of the treasure in the long-sealed ruin of the God of Salt should be enough to make a fortune. If you want me to agree upon this contract, so be it. I just have one request, Mr. Shongli. If we discover the truth behind the God of Salt, you must judge it fairly. Even if the truth harms Morax's image. I can accept this arrangement. Well then, let's go. Cool, we're going in. Uh, do I just jump in? Oof. Okay, it's just a bit foggy. This is cool. Dead end. Oh no, it's gonna be uh, one of these. Recommended elements, Geo. Now, let me guess, I get to use uh, Zhongli for this, right? I've got eight minutes before I have to go. If I run out of time before I finish this little dungeon thing, I guess I'll just have to end the stream there and then. Uh, I guess I could swap you out for new one. Don't disappoint me. I have to finish off this domain in my own time. <clears throat> That's fine, I can live with that. I'll just get as much done as I can while I've still got time. Oh, I do get to use Zhongli, sweet. Uh, are these... statues? No. These are people. Wait, does he come Ugh. with constellations? He comes with three. They were probably followers of the God of Salt. How did they become this way? What in the world is hidden deep in this ruin? That's gonna be a five star. Okay. Give up.
What's this? Look at this. It's filled halfway with salt. Uh, it just looks like a fancy salt holder. Seems like the god of salt was a god lacking in treasures. According to my knowledge, it's no ordinary vessel. Although it is only half full, it is also forever half full. That is to say, it is bottomless. What? You're saying that even if I pour the salt out, the amount inside won't change? Exactly. Able to produce endless salt. The god of salt is powerful indeed. Also known as League of Legends. Finally. After all that effort, I've found precious treasure. I claim this is mine. I just need to pour the endless salt into a thousand or ten thousand bags. I can sell it and make a fortune. Hey, how can you use a relic of the god of salt for such a shallow pursuit? If Mr. Clement wants this salt chalice, then the next object we find will belong to Miss Wanyan, according to the contract agreed upon. Of course, as we agreed. <laughs> but how can anything be worth more than this rare find? Since we have a contract, it's no use for me to fight with him. Then let's move on, shall we? Just a simple ruler. It doesn't look to be worth anything. This, if I remember correctly, this is some kind of measuring tool. Indeed. But the god of salt imbued it with another power. When you stick this ruler in the ground, the surrounding area will become covered in salt, much like a rising tide covers the earth. The deeper it is stuck in the ground, the more salt will appear. It is essentially a bumper harvest of salt. What? That, that's even better than the salt chalice! Well then, according to our contract, the salt ruler goes to Miss Wanyan. No, unacceptable. I paid for and organized this entire expedition. Why should I get the short end of the stick? And this girl has been useless! Why would she get anything? Bit harsh. Yeah. So you are saying you want to break the contract? So what if I break it? Now that I've seen how the mechanisms in this ruin work, I no longer need you. Let's not forget who hired who here. Why should I let you make the rules? Because you agreed to a contract. Rex Lapis once said, Ones who break their contracts shall suffer the wrath of the rock. That is one of your Liyue gods. I am from Snezhnaya. I will suffer the wrath of the rock. You may find it rather unpleasant. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Rise! <laughs> Your 
run from debt. I shall confiscate your treasure as well. You are not worthy to continue any further into the ruin. Leave this place. Oh, darn you! Just you wait! Clement's wrongdoing stemmed from greed, yes. But besides greed, there are many other things that may tempt us to break contracts. When people see the object of their dreams, how many are really able to control their desire and follow the contract? I think we should be honest with each other now. That in truth, not a single member of this archaeological expedition came here for archaeology. Why do you say that? Miss, you lack even the most basic archaeological knowledge, and can recognize naught but a few simple relics. However, you are an expert when it comes to anything regarding the God of Salt. You aren't interested in archaeology or relics. What you're really interested in is the God of Salt. I believe those legends about the God of Salt that you mentioned on the Pearl Galley are passed down between generations at Yinyuan Hall. Okay, that's enough. Sir, you are indeed a man of great knowledge and talents. I seem to have been right to seek you out once I plucked up my courage. You're right. I'm not a scholar of archaeology. I come from one of the eight trades under the jurisdiction of the Qi Sing, Yinyuan Hall of the Salt Industry. Our ancestors were those protected by the God of Salt all those years ago, when the Archon War engulfed the land in chaos. During the war, Morax assassinated our God out of envy for her power. He left us alone and lost in the world. We... we hate him! But this is Morax's Liyue after all. And its history is written as he wishes. So I seek proof of Morax's guilt. He has blood on his hands and cruelty in his heart. <sighs> we agreed to a contract that we will face the truth head on, didn't we, Mr. Zhongli? You must judge this history fairly. Naturally, of course. But I must add, Liu is no longer Morax's Liu. Come with me. All the answers you seek lie ahead. Right, I am afraid I have to end it here. It's half six now, and like I said, I have to help out with this shopping because there's no one else to help. Um, I did as much as I could, so sorry I didn't get to the end of this domain, but I guess I'll have to finish that some other time. Uh, before I go, thank you once again to Kevin for raiding me and People Senpai for also keeping me company. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I'm not sure I'll be playing. I mainly just put this on because I had so little time for gaming today. I had to get, I had to get this done today, so I thought I might as well stream it. Uh, I've got a few ideas in mind for tomorrow. I really would like to stream Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but uh, I've got some issues to work out there. I guess I can sort of do it if I cap it at 30 frames per second. I just can't get a smooth 60 for some reason. I'll have to figure it out. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Until tomorrow, I'll see you guys later. Thank you and good night. Oh, it's not actually ending. Stop. Stop.